go on YouTube or go on Blue Color Farm. Blue Color Finance back at it with another morning headlines. Alright, so you don't know how the thing go over here, you know. But I'm gonna turn on the light yet. Let me turn on the lights. Alright, so it look better seen. So you don't know how the thing go over here. Morning headlines and I believe this is our what the twenty fifth episode of Morning Headlines. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's my always say, morning headlines are going good, morning headlines are getting bigger, better, and we are going to continue doing morning headlines, God, guess what? I'm falling in love with morning headlines, trust me, <laughs> like a girl. <laughs> Jano, I'm loving it. Anyways, it's a TGIF episode. I don't know, TGIF. Like we always say thank God it's Friday. When it comes to Friday, we love Friday. Cause it's the start of the weekend scene. TJIF, thank God it's Friday. And as we always say, morning headline is governed by two mottos. Number one, money never sleep. So I don't know why are you sleeping this late in your bed wake your ass up as you always say and number two early bird catches the most worms at the end of the day again you need to wake your ass up get up get up time to make some money scene we could get in the morning headlines we could get in the morning headlines Alright, so you don't know the deal, we normally scour through the major newspapers, the Gleaner, the Observer, um, the business news. We are interested in business news. However, other headlines might affect the way we trade, might affect our um, yeah, investment ideas. So we we'll have to look out for that also. Alright, so we could just get right into it, we could get right into it make we get right into it so the bolt saga still a thing yo i think that would have done by now i think that would have done by now but the bolt saga is still a thing i'm currently on the it is the the, the observer all right so here they're saying what ssl now on bolt deadline ssl now on bolts deadline all right sprint icon attorney says look out for the the expected and unexpected so that are the headline and the observer remember you know what did give ssl and what i'm call it an ultimatum that that um, them give them certain deals to get back the money and <laughs> Yo, trust me. As the days goes by, the bold thing will get deeper and it'll take some different twists. It'll take twists. And uh, like I always say, what pe what 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 seem, what it seem, things are never as they seem. Alright, so it's a different thing I go on right as I know when it as it relates to bold and bold money. But make a read into the X line. So Linton Garden. All right, one of Bolt's, one of attorneys, the attorneys representing Olympian, um, Olympian UCM Bolt. What am I reading? On Thursday said the public should look out for the expected and the unexpected today. The deadline given to investment firm Stocks and Securities Limited to return more than 12 million US dollar fleeced from the track and field icon account in what has been has now been found to be a massive fraud perpetrated for more than a decade more than 12 million us dollar that's so wrong man another 12 million us dollar come on uh, yeah 12 million us dollar it's right it's right it's right um that account uh, that amounts to about two billion jamaican dollars all right so that right all right so today are the deal when them claims if you give back the money 
whatever but now the master we're supposed to look out for the expected and the unexpected because as what may i say there is twist and turn all right so the last time you are here is that uh, it is one of somebody upon bolt team some ex-member of bolt team pulled the money and there is some thing going around that prove say the money was withdrawn by somebody um ex-member of bolt team all right so when my bs i say if that's the case if that's the case and that person that pulled the money had the authority to do so then ssl would not be responsible for bolt's money seeing however the amount of money where them claim sir is pulled by this management this ex-management or ex-member of bolt's team is just like nine million jamaican dollars so them only account for nine million jamaican dollars that is pulled by this person and that money went to buy some stocks and some bonds all right so we know say a crazy amount of money them pulled from bolt account so investigation still unfold more things might come up because majority of the money cannot be found as yet all right so so far them only cover a small amount recover not even recover but trace a smaller amount all right and as my man say as the thing go on as the story unfold things you see things where you never expect you hear things where you never expect the fbi upon it make a continue with the story make a come off of this make a go on something else because here the attorney is saying look expect the expected and the unexpected because it can it can it can twist turn anyhow all right so make a come off of this because of the same old same old same old same old make a get past something else fsc and we are on the gleaner now fsc block ssl wind up this is a very important story we need to talk about this we need to talk about this we need to talk about this <laughs> all right so let me give my two take on this based on the information that i've seen and things that i've been reading all right before we even get into the story should i even get into the story let me read the first paragraph the founder of a scandals card stocks and securities limited ssl huge crosscurry has hugh crosscurry has declined to comment on the financial service commission fsc securing off a court order wednesday blocking attempt by directors of the investment firm to liquidate its assets <laughs> a lot of people a lot of people misunderstand this all right so there is information that comes out into the market that came out into the market the financial ministry put out a piece of document that shows that it had secured some court injunction to block the winding up the, what i'm called the voluntary winding up of ssl stocks and securities limited all right and me a lot of people are talk about it and a lot of people are say this means a bolt money will not will not be returned all right blue color finance i say yo this has nothing to do with bolt's money it has no implication for bolt's money bolt's money are on different sum to itself however i could talk about this all right so the company's office of jamaica what I'm really I say is that the securities, the, the, the directors and the management, the owners of stocks and securities went to the company's office of Jamaica and I try wind up. What I'm call a voluntary wind up mean there is no reason for them to want to wind up the company. Normally when a company wind up is normally creditors that forces the wind up because of bankruptcy if you're unable to pay your creditors they might wind up the company so now we're seeing where it's a voluntary wind up not that they have a creditors problem but they are they want to wind up it anyways all right so them go to the company office the directors and the owners and decide to so wind up the company all right 
however the finance ministry caught win of this and went to court and get out an injunction to block the winding up of the company all right and you don't know how the thing got the fsc is over there and the fsc is overseeing all the operations and so the fsc moving and them take over the operation of ssl so now it is still operating but through the oversight or under the oversight of the fsc why would management want to wind up the company and uh, me kind of explain this to you as best as possible stocks and securities limited as the name suggests ssl it's a limited liability company and jamaicans need to understand the implications of a limited liability company As a limited liability company what it means is that legally the company operates separate and apart from its management and its owners let's say its owners all right so if you start out a limited liability company it means that that entity the law views that entity as a person in and of itself that can act in and of itself independent of anybody all right so as a limited liability it means that if the company owes somebody money and this is the purpose of setting up a limited liability the main purpose if the company owns somebody owes somebody money and the company is unable to repay that debt then the owner's money the owner's property is separated apart from the company and the creditors cannot look to the owner's personal property for the repayment of the debt so what that means in a nutshell if the company is unable to repay the loan the creditor then the creditor would have to bear the losses because there is nothing in the law that says the owner's personal property must be used to repay the creditors all right so the limited liability as the name suggests the liability is limited to what the company owes all right so it separates the business from the owner's personal asset all right i want to let me explain it proper so why would they want to wind up the company simply because if the fsc should decide to wind up the company all right let's say the fraud is so widespread and if they look at the SSS assets versus its liability and you realize that the company cannot operate because there's not a lot there's not enough asset to cover the liability or whatever and then decide to wind up the company the order of the winding up would be that the asset will be sold off and the creditors will be paid first and what's left the management or the owners would get what's left all right so the owners would be the last group of people of investors to hop out of the company if it's an orderly wind up all right so if it is now that the company owes so much money or the liability of the company is so great that after paying the creditors nothing is left for the owners then the owners wouldn't get no money and that is why these owners directors went to wind up the company because they want to take their money out of the company first 
before the creditors get paid and if they are able to do so if they were able to do so then because of the limited liability because of the limited liability then the creditors could not go to the owners for their money if enough was not there to pay them because as i said creditors cannot look to the owner's personal asset for repayment that's what the limited liability does all right so what that would have meant is that there will there would have been no more ssl all right and the asset that ssl has is not enough to pay the lib um the creditors the liability to pay off all the liabilities so that simple means creditors would not get all of their money and as a result of that they would have to bear the losses because they couldn't go to the owners for the owners to repay the money because the owner's personal asset then would be separate and apart from the company's asset so because them understand this because the owners them understand this and move to wind up the company luckily i don't know oh the finance ministry got wind of this so them step in them go court them get the injunction to prevent the owners from winding up the company so the company is still running under the oversight of fsc and blue color finance are suspect that they will wind this one up i'm not sure but that's just my feeling all right and the money will be liabilities will be repaid creditors will be repaid before the owners get their money all right now as we say as it relates to bolt money bolt money sound like it's a different saga go on this huh? them not finish the investigation yet so we're not gonna find them not find all about money as yet to know where all of the money go but in the case where it's bolts team xt member pull the money from the account and if it is that that xt member had the um, responsibility had the right to pull the money from the account then ssl cannot be liable for bolt's money that would have been something between bolt and the management and his management team all right so maybe them x the money off of the team and uh, and uh, remember if it take him name off of the account we don't know but as well the lawyer said as the days goes by expect the unexpected and the expected so i don't know what that mean i could come off of the bold saga I could come off of the bold saga i could get in some business news i could get in some business news in the morning yeah all right so we're scroll right down to the business news and uh, here is a business news that we think will be very interesting for Apple shareholders so Apple back in the news one more time you know what's funny i've never looked at Apple in terms of its operation and what Apple does and whether or not but think we need to get Apple a review one of this day but Apple to spend up to 520 million dollars to acquire shares in development fund equi Apple <laughs> back in at the news one more time so i'm gonna click by the article i see what i go on for all the apple shareholders good news apple so like them i met moves how important is this to apple shareholders so apple limited a jamaica a jamaican company aligned with the mason group will spend up to 6.8 million barbados dollars or the equivalent of 520 million jamaican dollars to acquire outstanding shares in a real estate fund that is controls and manages that it controls and manages called apple caribbean property limited property fund limited scc development fund let me get this right so apple have 520 million dollars they plan for use to buy the fund but at them manage the fund <sighs> they are the one that manage the fund and them are put more money in the fund 
is 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 that right so the company wants to purchase 20 to 60 percent of epic caribbean development fund shares in an offer to shareholders in barbados that runs from january 20 to march 20 um, january 27 to march 27 so that's tomorrow so tomorrow the fund is offering shares all right and epic Apple manages manages the fund and Apple has said they want to purchase 20 to 60 percent. Yo, this not sound good to me. You know why it not sound good? The disparity between the 20 and the 60. That's a 40 percent difference. All right, so Apple has said, all right, them I put out some the fund, them own the fund, them want to pick up some money, them I put out put out it and i think it's been sold over in barbados is not on the jamaica stock exchange it's not for the local um stock owners of epley all right but you would benefit from it given that epley the company that you invest in is investing in the fund all right so that's it so epley i said them they, they are willing to buy 20 percent to 60 percent of the offer <laughs> so it's almost like them not too sure that investors in barbados will pick this one up so them kind of depend on the reserve all right so they must say they will buy 20 if all goes well but if things look shaky and people now pick it up then we're willing to pick up 60 percent all right so it'll start tomorrow to that when today <laughs> not about today today is friday the 27th and the offer starts today all right so the listed shares and this the shares are listed in the fund company are larger held by or through institute uh, institutional investors in barbados are real institutional investors buy into this fund that apple is planning to buy into but me, i'm suspecting some doubt apple doesn't believe fully that these institutional investors will pick the um, pick this up all right then really get the idea so them really think that the, the um institutional investors will be happy about this fund so epic caribbean development fund currently trades on the barbados stock exchange and the trinidad stock exchange under the symbol cpfd it holds eight properties of which four are lots for development and four are residential units the properties are located in barbados st lucia st vincent and the grenadines epiphon managers also manages a separate and distinct segregated fund with a 16 development properties called the equi caribbean property fund limited c um, scc valley fund the fund currently trades on jamaica stock exchange under the symbol cpfv as well as the barbados and trinidad exchanges make we move on so apple i make big move apple um i put out some money half a billion dollar in a fund in barbados and the fund have eight properties all right eight um four of them are residential properties and four the other four are lots for development so that no look bad that no look bad make we move on for the apple shareholders them this is something we have to pay keen attention to all right so what's in the news we are still on the gleaners website we're still on the gleaners website not a lot of news coming out dr clark here we have a news about dr clark um no cost to spare in ssl probe all right so this sound like good news this sound like something where we want here because we were always wanting to hear what dr clark and the prime minister have to say about what's going to happen with ssl they were a bit tight-lipped as it really it's the ssl and a lot of people were talking about them finally get them thoughts together them finally sit through um whatever and now they're out and they're talking now finance minister nigel clark is vowing to fund whatever it takes to get to the bottom of the ongoing fraud investigation at stocks and securities limited ssl that will involve local and jamaican 
experts so the man has said all stone are going to turn and them willing to put up the money to ensure so we get to the bottom of it so that sound good and this sound like this will put back confidence in at the financial market because at the end of the day when they were tight-lipped the minister of finance and the prime minister were tight-lipped then people don't know what to expect seeing and that had a lot of people running to the doors i will see where the i the ipo uh, apex ipo got some amount of impact negative impact from what was happening the bolt effect as we call it seeing and then the prime minister them never that talk and then the youtubers that talk and all type of mix-ups of people that know what to expect and it is sound bigger than what it really was now the man them say them willing to get to the bottom of it and let the chips fall where they may and this sound like something where we put back confidence in at the stock market. So speaking with the financial gleaner after his presentation at the Jamaica Stock Exchange 18th Regional Investment and Capital Market Conference, the minister said that the decision to engage overseas forensic experts in the probe will come at a high cost. So that the man I say, no matter how high the cost is, them willing to put out the money and do the do but me I say me think we could have get to the bottom of, of it without having to call the FBI but then again my subscribers I must say you are going when the FBI is in it it is more independent it is more transparent and I believe them are 100 percent because locally a lot of corruption a lot of fronting so we have to get independent minds independent probe so the FBI is needed makes sense Makes sense. I got me tell you, my subscribers them bright. Man, I lie. I love my subscribers them. I love my subscribers them. We don't know what those costs are at this point since we are at the beginning. But whatever it takes, we will deal with it. We just have to move decisively. On Monday, the finance minister announced that, that the FBI and other foreign experts will be engaged to, to assist with investigations into allegations of a $3 billion seepage of funds at the investment company, more than half of which, the equivalent of $12.7 million, US dollars, belong to sp um, sport um, celebrity Usain Bolt. All right, so I just want. All right, let me just read this and then we'll move on from the story. We have seized the opportunity coming out of this crisis to make Jamaica better and stronger. The opportunity is to make it known that Jamaica is a serious country where if you defraud investors, you will be caught, you will be brought to the law, and you will be punished. Clark declared, This is how we want here. The ministry, the government, this is all we want to hear them talk. This is what builds confidence. And you can't have a financial system. As I may say, them take too long to come out, but I love how them come out and them come out strong. Them should have nib it as, 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 yo. I tell you, you know, it's a bolt effect where mash up the IPO people lose money in at the IPO and it's a bold effect and the fox said Dr. Nigel Clark and Prime Minister Hanjo Olness bro God takes a long for come out and address the matter in a decisive manner is one of the reasons why the sell-off of the apex did a core here the man say seriously we need to get to the bottom of it and then we pay any amount of money to ensure the integrity there in the financial system. To ensure say, whomever think them can rot the financial system and take money out of people's account, you will be caught. Problem I got in it. This is our investor want here. Confidence in the financial market, confidence in the stock market. People, money can flow back to the stock market now. Money can start flowing back to the stock market because we have a system, we have a government, we're willing to back investors. Big man thing. We love it. But you know as it relates to Apex selling off, there was an opportunity. People are jump out of the stock market because they're free, them free people take money out of their account. These are the events that 
creates opportunity i met my ask the question did you buy the dip <laughs> did you buy the dip scene so as a warren buffett always say be greedy when people are fearful and we see we are a big fear come up because of the fraudulent activities over ssl the opportunity present itself did you were you brave enough <laughs> to buy the dip make a move on make a move on yo as investors you have to have a brave heart and you have to see the opportunities them act decisively and nip them as them come because them now gonna last forever apex start trade back up apex start trade back up apex start trade back up so who oh, are wait for apex drop off to a price where them claim so they want it maybe you just have to go jump back in be brave and be strong palace shareholders approve stock split Lena. <laughs> headlines i report that yo i wonder if more juice left in the palace stock i wonder if more juice left in the palace stock and as we talk about that we're gonna go right over to the jamaica stock exchange because we want to see where palace closed out yesterday we want to see where palace closed out yesterday we want to look on palace chart and see how palace has been trading because yo palace did move palace did move palace closed up 9.6 percent today however as a blue color finance i always tell you the volumes are very 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 small 817 shares traded hands when i look on that that's about that's about what look at it it's now three thousand dollars the price is back up to three thousand dollars the price is back up to three thousand dollars who was brave enough to jump in and palace a lot of people talk and a lot of people post but a lot of people don't have the brave art so big up the shareholders them who brave enough and them jump in and them them eat at it tell them belly full whatever if you get in kudos to you seeing a lot of people talk and a lot of people can't get in all right so the company last traded three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars today all right and it closed at three thousand and forty eight dollars and fifty one cents jaja and you can look at the movements of the stock crazy amount of movements here is where the stock here is where the split was announced one in december this look like the 12th of december and then the stock price just start move right up 620 dollars when the announcement was made 620 dollars when the announcement was made the company traded up 9.6 percent today that is 266 dollars and 98 cents greater than what it was yesterday but the volume of trade was very meager all right i'm not seeing where this is giving me the volume i'm on the jamaica stock exchange we're not seeing the volume today look like me i've got to just jump over now i'm now go over the um, j trader pro site I'm now go over there anyways palace is up make we get in at the news a lot of people are laughing right to the bank right now palace amusement shareholders gave the nod to a 600 for one stock split that means that meant to drive trading activity in the tightly held shares amid the company's return to pre-pandemic levels of movie attendance the split will take effect on february 28th which will dethrone palace as the most expensive stock on the market to a low price security on the day of the vote the stock closed up at two thousand five hundred and twenty four dollars 
assuming the price holds to the end of February, a split would put the stock within a four to five dollar band. Yo, yeah, Joe, come on, yeah, see this, this, something trade up to the eve at three thousand dollars. The stock is now over three thousand dollars. So I don't know what you're talking about. Shareholders, I should have updated the article before you put it out. <laughs> the stock have moved like crazy. So shareholders uh, will end up with a uh, 600 times more units in hand, but the value of their holding will not change. Financial controller Carol Lee reaffirm. All right, so we know that everybody know that by now. However, that not stop people from diving right in. For art, uh, remember, you know, the IPO game over, you know. So I guess people change them direction and change them focus and start look for stock split like this. For all of 2022, Palace shares were selling below $1,000 after peaking at near $3,000 before the pandemic. So it's not the first time Palace a trade at three thousand dollars a puzzle palace is back to the pre-pandemic levels palace is back to pre-pandemic levels and what has changed about this is how irrational investors are this is how irrational investors are i'm a continue to say you cannot listen to people who are telling us that the market always right because nothing no go so nothing can go so nothing can go so all right so look into it after the covid hit palace closed down there was no operation palace have to borrow some money because no revenue was coming in palace have to borrow some money to keep the business afloat throughout that time this is unexpected nobody never did expect this yo investors have to re-evaluate or re-evaluate and value the company taking into consideration the COVID impact as a result of that the stock price supposed to fall off the stock price did fall off now the stock price settled down at six hundred dollar thereabout now the man them announced a stock split the man there is nothing fundamental has changed about the company and the stock price went right back up to where it was pre-pandemic three thousand dollars now what may I say what may I say? The three thousand dollar value that the stock had before the pandemic. What was that saying about the operation of the company? The six hundred dollar value that the stock price had just the other day before the stock split. What was that saying about the company? And now the company is back up to the six the three thousand dollar value what is that saying about the company these are telling you different stories about the company about the cash flow of the business going forward but has the cash flow changed so much that the, the stock split was announced and the thing got right back up what what has changed pre-pandemic post-pandemic versus pre-pandemic what has changed Since COVID occurred, what has changed about Palace Amusement operation? <laughs> but big up who were he able to up in and make some money. I know it's not a big money you put in because the shares are thinly traded still. Thinly traded still. However, for you can up in and but it were 817 shares traded today 817 shares fry you can bat it where you bat it where big up to you all right make we get on with the story make we get on with the story so the split was done to make the stock more attainable and affordable to the everyday investor those patrons who supported us throughout the pandemic movie lovers who are happy to be back at our locations with the big screen and superior technology the split will increase the number of issue all right we know that we know that we know that in the wake of the vote palace stock split and price shot up 
to $2,782 on Wednesday, then to $3,048 on Thursday, valuing the company at $4.38 billion. That are the figure on for watch. $4.38 billion. Is it worth $4.38 billion? As an entertainment company dependent on the physical turnout of movie watchers, Palace Amusement Business faltered during the pandemic when restrictions were applied to social contact and public gathering. The company suffered the consequences for two years, but as of May 2022, all cinemas were back in operation. Cinema rentals, school shows, birthday parties, etc. and the 3D option for movie viewing have all been reinstated. We are encouraged that since the start of a new financial year in July 2022, the attendance has been steadily improving with the patronage since October reflecting pre-pandemic numbers. You hear that? The man the man say, patronage since October last year reached pre-pandemic level. So if that's so, you can see where the stock price increasing back up the pre-pandemic level is not is not <laughs> unexpected. All right, so. The release of blockbuster movies such as Woman King, Black Panther 2 and Avatar 2 has bolstered numbers, Lee said, adding that revenue for November and December was exceptional, uh, with over 81,000 moviegoers turning out in November and just over 80, um, 78,000 in December. So, them the people start go back a movie again, management you attack too. Palace seems to be one to look at them say the thing reached back to pre-pandemic levels that the, the the patronage people start go back a movie the revenues are come back in well if that's the case Palace deserve a cheer on because January we think Palace is going to suffer bad bad Palace suffer bad for two straight years the thing palace never did a return but here it is people are out again at the movies it's a good look for palace and palace here holders and for those who were able to up on make a pick up piece of food big up to you <laughs> big up to you it's a brave move it's a brave move to do that it's a brave move and we respect people who do it play the game you play all right Ah, uh, where are we now? Where are we? We're looking for for market data, for market information. We are on the the observers website. What other information can we see here? All right, so there's resignation of somebody from Sajikor. That's not of any big importance to us. All right, Andrew Ull is talking about no bailout for failed financial institution. Again, we endorse them type of argument. The one hundred percent of people for no said the prime minister is serious about this, and if it means some company have to fall up and go under, so as to shore up trust in the financial system. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We love them type of talk, we love the tough talking, now we want to see action for back. Action speak louder than words as Bounty Killer say. So we want to see the Prime Minister, the Finance Minister do what them say they are going to do if push come to shove. Alright, Guyana satellite will spot oil spill, not on ship experts. So should i get into this story guyana what importance is of guyana to us more than we hear said dollar financial um, dollar c uh, not dollar but learn Eddie the focal ceo go, i'll go over there them the fly out yet i'm not think the crew leave us yet yeah for the look business 
all right so we we'll hope them come up with something because them really 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 need it all right blue color finance value edit four color ready we have a lot of videos on edit four color you can just check out blue color finance website we have a value of edit four color you can look on it and see how we come up on the value of the, the the assumptions that goes behind it just go up on blue color finance and type in edit four color valuation you will see that we have a lot of videos um reviewing them quarterly is coming up we don't want to talk about them no more you get me we just hope them find some work over guyana and uh, be able to come up with something because them really need it them really need it gas and diesel prices going up this might be something where we need to look upon in the morning yeah, because this uh, will affect us some way so motorists will pay four dollars and fifty cents more for gas and diesel when they go to the pump on thursday that was yesterday all right the state-owned oil refinery Petrojam says Eaton 87 will sell from $167.9 per litre and a litre of Eaton 90 will sell for $171.89. Automotive diesel oil will sell for $213.34 per litre while ultra-low sulfur diesel will sell for $221 dollars and 27 cents per liter the price for cursing oil will also go up by 4.5 dollars per liter uh, with the fuel to sell for 219 dollars and five cents in the meantime pro um, propane cooking gas uh, will go up by three dollars and six cents per liter to sell at uh, 68 dollars and 11 cents while butane will sell for 76 dollars and 20 cents per liter after a similar increase you know why i believe <laughs> yeah whatever calls some name where the first me i hear them name the butane and pertain and whatever <laughs> Uh, prepared uh cooking gas the tag still yeah uh, cooking gas are uh, cursing and all these things <laughs> jaja jaja all right so we're going to talk about this now which stock which stock will that affect um so fesco fesco in it price are go fesco make more profit fesco make more and uh, more revenue all right so this might affect fesco um going forward is this sustainable I mean, no, no regency will will be impacted by this so both cooking aisle cooking aisle not cooking aisle but cooking gas <laughs> i want to be in the morning yeah. cooking gas and uh, and 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 um gasoline all right prices gone up four dollars and fifty cent yesterday so that's supposed to look good for the petroleum companies listed on the jamaica stock exchange so if you have petroleum stocks hold on to them tight hold on to them tight you need to because here we see where gas price is adding is inching back up yo never really get in on the pet um the regency good enough you know but it's still all yo the the small amount to get in on the ipo that was like nothing yo now the company is selling like 50 percent above ipo price ah chaja and it now not come or come down people all hand to that like good goal <laughs> I swear people hold on to that like good goal. Red Stripe suspends bottle return. Alright, so anybody in the liquor um in the economy, from your day in the economy, you live in Jamaica, you must realize that uh, there were shortages upon shortages of bottles. As as a result of that, you couldn't get some of your favorite beverages, some of your favorite liquor, some of your favorite alcohol because Jano you know, back a shortage. No red stripe announced say yo yeah hear me the buckle thing the shortage thing kind of up and thing gone back to normal make me read this because this has implications for companies listed on the jamaica stock exchange we are going to tie the knot we are going we are going to connect the dot them in our few make a read you noting that its bottle supplies were back to normal levels red stripe jamaica has uh, suspended the bottle return program effective january 16. it was not working right said a source who 
operates at um, a medium-sized liquor store in Kingston, explaining that the way the policy operated served to curtail supplies to regular customers like himself. Under the f um, Full for Empty program, buyers uh, would have to return empty bottles to receive new supplies of beers. The empty bottle has to come back to Red Stripe, especially um, with the um, with them raising the price to thirty dollars. But uh, yeah, but I understand shortages. What was causing the shortages, though? I think the bottleneck in the in the logistic distribution as a result of the COVID. It wasn't Red Stripe alone that was um, being impacted. All right, so Red Stripe Jamaica increased its price. It collects empty bottle from twenty dollars to thirty dollars. There's a lot of people who want eight hundred and twenty dollars to return a case of empty um, in Jamaica. But when you restrict wholesalers from getting their supplies, it's bad for business. I have ordered a month ago, still not filled. Ugh, come now. Red Stripe Jamaica's return policy aimed to address an ongoing global shortage. Here's where I want to talk about. Global shortage of glass bottles due to supply chain disruption caused by the pandemic. The, bev um, the, brewer um, the brewery wanted consumers to return empties to Red Stripe, Heineken, Guinness, Jack and Stout, Spurn of Ice, Malta bottles for recycling. The brewery previously said that it can recycle glass six times without it losing its purity all right so the pandemic caused it this also affects spurtry you know spurtry have a bottle the yeah, them say the glass bottle shortage spurtry has that problem and as a result spurtry can um operate to its full capacity because of the shortages of bottles all right now here Red Stripe I say for them things sat out so they are back to normal bottle stuff flow back in again wonder if Spurtree is saying the same thing which me believe Spurtree are going to say the same thing so the policy was expanded in August 2022 to include previously exempt channels such as supermarket chains independent supermarkets convenience stores as well as hotels it meant that on the surface entities seeking to replenish beer with new stock would need to return an equal amount of empties thanks to the cooperation of our consumers and customers customers all right our bottle supply is now sufficient to allow for suspension of the requirement for retailers slash or sellers to purchase dng products in quantity equivalent to the number of empty returns yo the brewery however urged consumers to continue returning bottles in order to maintain their resolving um supply and do what is right for the environment guess what but think the problem solved the problem not solved <laughs> a lie the problem not solved on a wide scale red stripe solve red stripe problem <coughs> sorry red stripe solve red stripe problem all right so red stripe say yeah hear me customers bring in the buckle bring in the buckle i don't know can get something so people them start go for the buckle them from all about the buckle over them have pack up all about you get me for a lot of people pack up buckle and save it up for christmas so the people them would have to roll out the christmas buckle them anyway you see about the buckle them are not the seller anyway the buckle them there in the bag somewhere around there so yeah so they have to bring in the buckle and guess what red stripe comes and now boom and start charge them 10 percent 50 percent increase breast i put on the buckle lemon yeah so i guess that was an incentive for them to bring in the buckle them faster so people start carrying the buckle them carrying the buckle them so now red stripe have a high supplier battle and as a result of that red stripe i say yo we have enough buckle right i said no we can't go on operate but guess what but the thing of the supply chain has changed and things free up and bottles are come back in at the industry but yo i just red stripe deal with it on red stripe level so as it relates to spur tree spur tree might need to do something to get 
its bottles back into production so him can he can back into the the operation so him can produce and continue to produce and not being impacted by the limited supply of bottles so maybe spiritually need to try something like this and uh, uh it might be it'll be hard for spiritually given the facts there uh, spiritually customers are far and apart not as clustered and as enough as red stripe so that you have to take into consideration too so spur tree might still be under pressure as it relates to them having enough bottle you get me i say um so them can operate at full capacity we are gonna watch and we are gonna see what go on with spur tree but this is not a solution to spur tree's problem i just red stripe sat out red stripe problem make a move on there is this news about dollar and frost rich all right so frost rich and dollar have partnership where dollar are gonna supply frost rich customers or clients with 90 percent financing of any purchase they gonna make over frost rich Dessa. all right so them can run to dollar borrow them um, 90 percent off the value of whatever they want to buy and sound like a good partnership remember in a dollar i already have another partnership signed another partnership with another energy company for, with the same type of operation with the same idea so this is dollar but blue color finance always telling a dollar does not have a problem lending out money we see where the company lend out money like crazy that's not dollar's problem that's not dollar's problem blue color finance talk about dollar problem numerous of times on the blue color finance channel so just jump over there go over blue color finance channel type in blue color finance dollar whatever type in dollar and you get the the, the, the videos that we do about dollar so you can get an idea of where our uh, mindset is as it relates to dollar but again it's a good news for dollar these are some of the things what we love to see when i love swing time them are put out news and the news is not solid the news that have no implication for their operation and get me i say we want to hear say on a do a deal like this and it means more business for the company these young ceos they are talking about all right so this is a good look for dollar you deserve a cheer on continue to do another it look good seeing make we move on but over the jamaica observer again we have got you one more time we have got you one more time to see if information any business news come out since we start looking at it business news is far and apart in the morning you know set away stock market heads advocate for greater collaboration i guess they must say uh, the trinidad stock market the barbuda stock market the jamaican stock market is supposed to collaborate and come up with some statement and all that or later we're not too interested in that un forecast fall in global economic growth to 1.9 percent in 20 23 yo yo make we get in upon this make we get in upon this quick and fast make we get in upon this quick and fast financial institutions are sure clients all right so while go on with global growth global growth will have an implication for your business for your investment going forward you and united nation the united nation forecast wednesday that global economic growth will fall significantly to 1.9 percent this year as a result of the food and energy crisis sparked by the war in ukraine the ongoing impact of the covid 19 pandemic pre, um, persistently high inflation and the climate emergency all right so they must say yo this year the the global economy will take a hit and four four main items are responsible for that ukraine still in the making ukraine 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 the war in a ukraine still a cause havoc upon the economy covid19 pandemics Till a cars have upon the economy. We just talked about the shortages of bottle that will impact spur tree operation that is caused by COVID. So in a real talk, real real talk, COVID still have an impact on the economy. When will COVID leave us alone? 
ja, ja. Persistently high inflation. That is the thing. That is a monster, I believe, though. Climate emergencies. So those four things are what will cause the global economy to shrink a bit and not to grow. So painting a gloomy and uncertain economic outlook, the UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs said the current global economic slowdown cut across both developed and developing countries with many facing risk of recession in 2023. The man must say there's a risk of recession. Be he careful. A lot of people, as I say, I tread lightly as it relates to investment because people have said them no one going at the stock market and then the recession it and then <sighs> Jaja what to do in these uncertain times what to do in these uncertain times a board or a broad based and severe downturn of the global economy looms large amid high inflation aggressive monetary tightening and heightened uncertainty u.s secretary general anthony said in the for, um, forward in a forward to the 178 page report so i guess people can jump over this and try get the report and read it for themselves to get into more detail what's really happening which section of the economy which section of the global economy will be impacted most the report said this year 1.9 percent of economic growth forecast down from an estimated three percent so them cut it almost in a half in 2022 is one of the lowest growth rate in recent decades but it projects a moderate pickup to 2.7 percent in 2024 if inflation gradually abates and economic headwinds start to subside Yo, I don't have more read the more the gloom story. <laughs> yo, my things about now. Yo, a long time we are all it, you know. From 2020, you know. We are all it, you know. And a weird upon the economy have come back up. But this this economy is creating a lot of opportunities. A lot of opportunities. But you have to have money. You have to have money. So I mean, imagine so when the economy come back up and things get more rosy then the rich are going to one mile ahead of the poor again. More mileage from the gap between the rich and the poor. More mileage. More mileage. Jaja. Morning headlines of the morning. I'm going to move on. One more bit. I'm going to search with peace. More information. We'll jump back right over the glean again for see what's going on over there. So, the Observer now nah, put out a lot of news. That's pure old news we have seen on the Observer. All right. Gleaner, we can see if the Gleaner update anything in the morning here before we call it a episode guess we're one hour and three minutes in so you don't know we breach a one hour mark already we now i'm gonna try to keep this below one hour i don't know how the thing going on so basically this this is it basically this is it this is it basically so morning headlines i don't know how the thing go you don't know how we do a thing all right so it look like we're out of air look like we're out of air look like we're out of air yeah yeah man we're out of here so guess what it's it's one of them episodes where i really enjoy seeing one of them episodes where i really enjoy so that's said just step out with confidence later on in the day go out there yo opportunities opportunities avail in the market whole of opportunities there don't be afraid don't be a weak heart people are suspects a recession might come a mild recession yo you have to just invest you have to just invest you have to just invest as i say investment is not for the weak heart it's for the brave heart art of love morning headlines yo let me chat to you Sit 
too And when we eat French, we fresh Give me too When I bite that lip, come get me too You want lipstick, lip gloss, and I eat some more Where's all your 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 Where's all your
just go if you want it. I gave them the drill, they said it. If you want it, I gave them the drill, they said it.